Do you know that the way you manage your energy is as vital as the way you handle your time and money? Well, now you know. Without a substantial degree of motivation, you will find it challenging to go through your daily life. Many things can kill your vibe. A block, bad news, etc. However, one of the most common factors responsible for draining your energy is the people around you. In this video, I will be sharing with you 10 types of people that kill your vibe. 1. Negative People According to new research, negativity is drastically harmful and contagious. Negative people are individuals who always see negativity in every situation and attempt to project those fears to other people. For instance, when a negative person sees you doing your laundry, he reminds you that it might rain. Even though the weather does not look gloomy, there is the likelihood that your energy level may drop and you will either stop washing totally or not clean all the clothes you intended to wash. It does not matter how much of an optimistic person you are or how favorable a particular situation is, if you don't take the right steps, negative individuals will continually affect your life and rob you of your happiness. American motivational speaker, life coach and author Tony Gaskins affirmed that negative people need drama like oxygen. But if you stay positive, it will take their breath away. The way to handle negative people is to stay positive despite their negativity. 2. Narcissist How do you cope with someone who feels like he is better than everyone else? A typical narcissist will work up to you and say something like, Your paintings look great, but if I were the one who drew it, it would have appeared even more attractive. Based on the fact that they are so full of themselves, a narcissist will always condemn what you do and make comparisons. They need to be right and win at all costs and since their very survival depends on this, they don't give up until they have torn others down to make themselves feel larger or superior. One dangerous effect of being with a narcissist is that their ability to cheap away your self-esteem can lead you to self-doubt. They make you feel like you are not and will never be good enough. Narcissists are out there and they can be anywhere around you. They act like their attitude is out of self-love but you can quickly discern between self-love and pure narcissism. 3. Complainers Do you have that boss who complains about virtually every task you carry out? How does his presence make you feel? Are you motivated or not? Being a mead complainers according to science hurts productivity. A Stanford survey pointed out that complaining or even being complained to for more than 30 minutes can physically damage the neurons in the hippocampus. This is a part of the brain responsible for problem solving and cognitive functioning. Simply put, complaining doesn't just hinder regular mental functioning, it begets more complaints. This assertion is nothing but the truth. Complaints affect self-confidence and confidence is one essential attitude needed for productivity. The awful part about complainers is that they never admit that they complain. They believe that they are just blunt and honest. As much as you can, please stay away from complainers. They can drain you of all your energy. If you are forced to be a meter complainer, always bear in mind that the complaint of a complainer is only based on his or her perspective. It is not the final truth. 4. Critics Although researchers have argued that criticism enhances creativity, it has its toils on individuals' emotions, especially when the wrong words are used. The thing about criticism is that no matter what you do, you will be criticized. However, criticism affects you to the extent which you allow it to. American politician, author and former Navy SEAL Eric Grayton once remarked that some people try to live a life without criticism by shrinking themselves. They try to make themselves invisible. And you know what happens then? It is not just that they diminish themselves fail to live their best lives and squander their time, all of that happens, of course. But you know what else happens? People criticize them for being invisible. If you take to heart every word said by critics, you will never be motivated to do anything in life. Thus, for you to truly live and be happy, you must learn to accept criticisms, however they come. 5. Doubters Certainly, the primary reason why you tell your plans to people especially close folks, is for them to enter into it, connect with it and make necessary corrections on it. But exposing your projects to a doubter may disrupt those plans. Doubters doubt your ability to do things, 
but they also never believe that you accomplished some of the feats you accomplished. These people can be so toxic, so much so that you begin to doubt your activities as well. How do you feel when you share your ideas with a friend and they remark, I doubt if you make it? When the person's reaction is not the same joyful enthusiasm you held when coming up with the idea, your interest may inadvertently drop to zero. The other person's energy will influence your own because again, you've opened up the door to your strength by sharing your idea. From the moment you observe a doubter in your circle, you must begin to shut your mouth regarding your aspirations and let your actions do the talking. 6. Boring People While the doubters doubt your abilities, the boring individuals bore you. For instance, imagine enthusiastically sharing a mind-blowing idea with a friend. The only reply they give is, it's okay, or asking for suggestions to complete a task, the response is, I don't know. Even though this category of people do not intend to kill your energy, their reaction to things can drastically decrease your energy level. When you are high-spirited, boring people are so quick to label you immature. And if you do not have healthy self-esteem, you may begin to think that you are genuinely childish and opt for being boring like them. Because you do not want to be seen as the immature one, if you are around boring people, remember that it pays to be yourself. 7. People who play the victim These sets of individuals are emotional wrecks and they will stop at nothing to transfer their faulty emotions to you. It does not matter how highly motivated you are, these individuals will manipulate you and turn your degree of motivation in the exact opposite direction. The worst part about their attitude is that if you don't play along with them, they make you feel like you are evil and selfish. They portray themselves as unfortunates who demand to be rescued and turn you into their therapist. According to American author Steve Maraboli, the problem with a victim mentality is that it forgets to see the blessings of the day. Because of this, the spirit of its accommodator is poisoned instead of nourished. As a friend, you want to help, but if you are not careful, you may be dragged right into their endless tales of woe. 8. Overexpressive Individuals Overly expressive individuals sincerely mean no harm. However, their bluntness can quench the spirit of an individual. Every individual at one point or the other has this set of people around, either as parents, older siblings or bosses. Most times, overexpression is done out of love to correct a person. However, if you are not an emotionally intelligent individual, you might lose motivation totally because of the choice of words of an overly expressive individual. Have you ever been told after checking your results that you did well, but you can do better? That's a friendly encouragement. But an overly expressive person does not end there. They add remarks like, people who did better do not have two heads. The first part of their statement sounded encouraging. The second part, if you are emotionally unintelligent, can kill your energy. You cannot avoid overexpressive individuals because they are often close people. But if you can develop a higher level of emotional intelligence and understand that their expressions are based on love, your energy will increase after conversing with them. 9. People who make fun of you As funny as they may sound, some jokes and sarcastic statements are jaw-dropping, as many people use them as a way to insult and belittle others. But even when there are no ulterior motives around a joke, and we also find ourselves laughing, that self-depreciating humor may do you more harm than good. One shocking secret about the subconscious mind is that it doesn't know real from false, past from present, or future, up from down, and a joke from what's serious. It just takes words as they come. So when a person jokingly uses a negative word on you, it picks up regardless whether or not your conscious mind understands the joke. Even though the way it kills your energy is quite slow and may take a long while, it surely does. Hence, Irish-born American author and New Thought Minister Dr. Joseph Murphy gives this piece of advice, you must make certain to give your subconscious only suggestions that heal, bless, elevate and inspire you in all your ways. Remember that your subconscious mind cannot take a joke. It takes you at your word. 10. People who are envious of you When people admire what you do, they either celebrate you or try to drag you down. Jealous individuals fall in the second category. Their vibe is poisonous and is potent enough to sap out your good vibes. 
In a good scenario, we should see someone's success and find the motivation to match their achievements. But when it comes to envy, envious individuals instead want what a person has and desires it so much that they feel unhappy and even angry about it. A jealous person will go as far as openly undermining your achievements and making it seem like it's worth nothing. Their actions can drain you mentally and weaken your spirit. As far as you can, you must stare clear from these people and even if you are unable to respond to their hate with positivity and confidence, as far as you can, you must stare clear from these people even if you are unable to respond to their hate with positivity and confidence. Your vibe is what gets you through a hard day at work. It helps you navigate through difficulties. So, it would help if you didn't let anyone rob you of it.